everyone, it is your girl Paige. Welcome to my pick a card video. So this is going to be how is he slash she secretly feeling for me. So it's just like the normal other videos about how is he she feeling about me but this has I think this vibe is going to be a little bit different. I do have tarot, however, I only have one tarot card for each pile, okay? It's going to be the defining point. It's going to explain how your person is feeling, what's going on with them. And then I'm going to get into the oracle cards. And I have channeled message cards. I have two sets yeah, I believe I have two or three sets of channeled message cards. So these are going to be messages, I guess, from their higher self, what they are feeling and thinking about you. There's a lot of longing that I pick up. So maybe some of you are in separation, okay? I need you to make your decision. I do not have objects. So this is pile one. This is pile two. This is pile three. You can pause the video and take as much time as you need. Oh, and at the end of each pile, I have a selective song that you can look up for additional messages. I will say the song for each pile at the very end of the reading. So yeah, make your decision and I will meet you at your pile. Hi there, pile one. Welcome in. You would like to know how your person of interest, whoever they may be, how they are secretly feeling about you. So let's look at the first tarot card. Ooh, we have the Page of Pentacles. So pages are the beginning um, title of the Minor Arcana. It's the Page, the Knight, the Queen, and the King in ranking. So this gives me youthful energy. Maybe someone who's not as experienced or they don't feel like they're experienced. Uh, maybe they don't feel like they have a lot to offer right now. I'm getting some type of insecurity um, in this person's energy. So... Maybe they are feeling a little bit inadequate or a little bit insecure in their life and they don't feel like they can present you an offer that you're looking for at this time. Or maybe they're trying to build themselves up financially. However, when it comes to you, because we're talking about how they're feeling about you, there is a sense that they want to offer you some type of communication or some type of offer, but... They don't think that it's good enough. I'm getting this card is really talking about insecurity. I don't think this is face value. I don't think when this person comes to give you a heart-to-heart -heart conversation, if they do, I don't think it would be represented by a page of pentacles. I think it would be represented either by a knight or by a king. However, this is talking about how they are currently seeing themselves and they see themselves below you, your ranking. And they see themselves as a page instead of a knight or instead of a king. So I, I really do believe this is about insecurity, not feeling good enough, not feeling as if they have enough to offer. So that is the first card there. Let's keep going. We have Wisdom. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm really trying to stop this wobbling. Okay, we have freedom. And we have sanctuary. Oh, that is very sweet. Let's start with sanctuary. So this is letting me know that this person feels safe and at home with you. This person feels like they can trust you, that you can see all of the parts of them, the good, the bad, and the ugly, and yet you don't judge them. This feels as if they could just let their mask down in a sense, not all the way when it comes to emotions and feelings, but this person feels at home with you. They feel as if your soul is home to their soul. It's almost like this synchronistic vibe where you two understand one another on a deeper level. On a soul level, this is how this person feels. That you, they can see no wrong in your eyes. In their eyes, I mean, in their eyes, they can see no wrong. They also feel this sense of freedom whenever they're around you. Like anything is possible. They believe in their dreams again. Maybe some of them 
feel as if you brought them to their spirituality or to their religion because the dove can symbolize purity and innocence or religion, spirituality. This is how I think they see you. They see you as someone who's very wise beyond their years, someone who is very kind and compassionate. This is giving me the strength card of the tarot type of vibes, someone who's very giving, someone who helps put people on the right path because their love is so strong and they're so patient. We have the owl here, which further is a symbol of wisdom. So they know that you can see through their BS and it kind of warms them up inside because they know they don't have to put a front with you. However, in a way, it kind of frustrates them at the same time. There's this inac inadequacy. There's this feeling as if your person of interest feels as if they're not on your level. I keep getting that vibe with the Page of Pentacles. It feels as if they feel as if you're too good for them. Or are you just out of their league? But at the same time, they feel so at peace with you. This is a beautiful card. Sanctuary. I just get home. Safety. A place to rest your head after a long day. And the sense of freedom. Some of them are missing you, so if you are in no contact with this person, not all of you have to be in no contact. But if you are, they are missing you very deeply and strongly at this time. And they want you to know that you are on their mind constantly. That's something that does not change. We have Glaxinia. It says, love at first sight. Oh my God. And proud spirit, when I saw you, I fell in love, and you smiled because you knew William Shakespeare. <laughs> oh my gosh, they feel as if it was love at first sight when they met you, Pile One. Get it then. Okay, beautiful energy. We have friendship and gratitude. Let us be grateful for the people who make us happy. They are the charming gardeners who make our souls blossom, Marcel Proust. So there could have been a root connection, a friendship, or maybe this is how the connection started as a friendship. And then it could lead to more, or it has led to more. There's this sense of extreme gratitude because they feel as if you put them on the right path. I keep hearing, you put me on the right path. You encouraged me. You believed in my dreams. You helped me believe in myself again. So maybe this person felt like nobody believed in them or believed they were able or saw something special in them. And then here you go, you saying all these things like, you're special, you're one of a kind, you have a lot to give to this world. It really, truly made a difference in their life. It meant so much to them. More than you'll ever know is what I'm hearing. So definitely a collective energy of your person's higher self is here speaking to me at this time. And they want to let you know, or he, she, whoever it is, wants to let you know that they're extremely grateful to have met you and to have known you. And some of them are saying, I'm sorry about the complications that I've caused and the delays. So that may not resonate for all of you. But they're definitely gratitude, I mean, they're definitely, they're definitely grateful to have met you. And they believe that it was love at first sight. They feel this immense freedom with you and they feel at home and at peace with you. And that you truly understand them in a way that nobody else could or does. We have Primrose. Youthful love, if I had a single flower for every time I think of you, I could walk forever in my garden. Claudia Adrian Grandi. Oh my goodness. See, it's that freedom I'm getting again. Love coming through. Beautiful young love. Violet, faithfulness and modesty. Modesty is a shining light that prepares the mind to receive knowledge and the heart for truth. Madame Guzot. 
So this is what I'm getting from that wisdom card. I feel as if you're really modest. You're not one to boast or be cocky. And I think they really appreciate that about you. They find that beautiful or handsome. They find that to be really handsome or beautiful. Whatever case applies to you. But there's this sense that I want you. I want you. This person is determined. This person feels as if they already met their soulmate, their life partner. And they think that that person is you. And they're kind of determined to somehow make it work. Though they don't feel adequate or good enough. I think they're going to try to push past these fears because they realize that there is something here and they don't want to just give it up because they feel like their life wouldn't, they feel as if, if they don't try to make it work with you, their life will be dull or they'll, they'll always go, this was the one that got away. So I, whatever circumstance you're in with this person, whether you're talking or not, this person thinks about you all the time and they secretly feel as if you're the light of their life, honestly. It's really beautiful energy. Okay, we have the peacock here. We have the bat. We have the owl. Okay, so this could be a spirit guide, okay, coming through or an animal totem and that's watching over this connection. Owl. I'm getting it could be like a passed on loved one for some of you. And we have the crocodile. So part of them could be intimidated by you. Or maybe you are intimidated by them. I'm just looking at these eyes, how intense they are. Maybe you're both night owls with the bat. A little bit rebellious is what I'm getting. Maybe you two are rebellious. Not not like in a horrible sense, but um, I'm sensing a little bit of rebellion. But I see that <laughs> you two enjoy that recklessness and goofiness. I don't see it as being like way over out of control. I'm getting intuition, like intuitively you both believed or knew that there was something here from the get go, from the jump. This peacock here, I really don't know what this is saying, but it's kind of giving me like cocky vibes. So maybe your person has a tendency of being a little bit cocky at times or in their pride. But I feel as if this crocodile is their energy and they're kind of looking at you from afar, seeing what you're up to, seeing who you're hanging with, what you're doing, what you're posting on social media, who you're hanging around. I think they're kind of looking at you from afar. They're keeping their, their space for some of you. But this is all about... This is giving me vibes about like your intuition, their intuition, almost that love at first sight thing is what I'm getting. I'm getting spirit guide energies really watching over the connection. So definitely this can be some type of soul connection, but I'm not going to label it. I'll just say that there is some soul connection here. There's definitely a lot of chemistry. There's past life history here. So I do believe whatever you're in, whether you're talking to them all the time and things are great or you're not talking and they're being a little bit distant, I think that this connection is kind of a sure thing. Miguel, okay? Anyways, let's keep going. Little things I should have done. I never took the time, but you were always on my mind. So yeah, maybe this person has a tendency of pulling away every now and then. Is this going to happen? I've been waiting for you to make a move before I make a move. You don't know how beautiful you really are. That's my favorite part. Modesty. I want you now more than ever. 
one more chance. I don't feel ready for physical intimacy. You are all I think about. I have all the time in the world to wait for you. So this person's like the type of person that, because I'm getting waiting again. I've been waiting for you to make a move before I make a move. So maybe this person wants you to come to them in a sense. But you're kind of like, no, I've been doing that this whole time. And I'm not doing that. So I think they'll work their way around that and kind of get the picture, realize this one day. You are much more beautiful than you know. I can't find the right words to say. You are my angel. I am deeply sorry that I walked away from you, or that I walk away from you. A love like ours happens once in a lifetime. I can't be the person you need me to be right now. So this could be, again, this page of Pentacles not feeling good enough, not feeling like they have enough to offer to you right now or not wanting to do that right now. But I see that this is not going to always be the case. Now, last but not least, we have these angels and ancestor cards that could give some type of advice or more of an outlook about how this person is secretly feeling for you. We have the Hermit card and it says retreat and recharge. We have shapeshifter, transform and unveil your gifts. So maybe you and this person are spiritually gifted with some like psychic stuff maybe. I'm getting maybe clairvoyancy or empath clairsentience vibes clairaudience i do believe you and this person are highly intuitive in a sense and you have different spiritual gifts so maybe that's what that shapeshifter is saying we have trader exchange energy to create abundance so maybe this is the angel's way of saying this is what you have to look forward to like a heart-to-heart -heart conversation or something like that is not too far away we have Oracle, wait for important information. Again, is that sense of clarity, something you've been waiting for. I don't know if this information is coming from this person or if it's coming from your angels or your guides or dreams, but some type of news that you've been waiting for, anticipated, anticipation is coming to you. However, this Hermit card is letting me know that both of you maybe need to spend some quality time to yourself right now to heal what needs to be healed and uh, transforming, going through some type of transformation. I do believe you two are going to come back together if you are separated and not talking. I do believe that this connection is very powerful and... I don't think a lot of people will, like, sure, there will be a lot of people who pick this pile, but this pile is really for a few people out there because, anyway, I won't get into that. Your song is I Should Have Kissed You by Chris Brown. So if you want to look into additional messages Look up the song, I Should Have Kissed You by Chris Brown, and you can find more messages there. I think it would be, I don't want to say beneficial, but anyway, thank you so much, Pile One, for watching. Please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it, and be on the lookout for my future videos. Until next time, guys, bye. Hi there, Pile Two. Welcome. So you would like to know how your person of interest, whoever that may be, you want to know how they are secretly feeling for you. At the end of this whole spread, I have a song that I picked out for you that may have additional messages for you. Let's start with this clarifying tarot card. There's only one and it's going to give me an idea about how they're feeling. We have the Four of Pentacles. Okay. Whew. This is someone who likes to keep their thoughts to themselves, so 
I'm getting a lot of you will pick this pile for some reason. I do believe that there are feelings here from their side to yours. However, they're not ready to express these things to you right now. They want to keep it to themselves. And maybe it's for multiple reasons, like they've been hurt in love before. or They have childhood wounds that need to be healed. But this is giving me that I'm going to keep my cards close to my chest. I'm going to keep my walls up or I'm going to keep my mask on. Maybe, I don't think this person has an issue with vulnerability in general. I just don't think they're ready to tell you how they're feeling. But that can always change. This is giving me the vibe, though, that there are deep feelings here. There are feelings that want to be expressed to you, but they're, they're not quite ready to maybe find the courage to do so. So that is what this tarot card is saying. The Four of Pentacles. Let's look into the Oracle cards now. We have Choice. Okay, it's making more sense in a way. We have Grace. And we have Listening. So maybe this person has been quiet. This is kind of interesting not for all of you this person feels that you're very graceful you're very colorful you're cre creative and you have this way about you that can draw anybody in you just have this natural way of capturing people's attention and you're also very kind and patient there's something about your energy that just seems so like you're naturally confident or you're naturally so assured of yourself. You move about in a beautiful way without even realizing. It could be the way you dress, the way you walk, the way you speak. Something about you, there's a lot of grace and flow and beauty is what they see. Now we have choice. This is letting me know that they're, they're trying to determine what to do right now. Do they tell you how they feel or do they keep it as if maybe you're friends with this person? Do they keep you in the friend zone or do they take the risk of telling you how they feel? Maybe they have a fear of rejection. Maybe they just don't feel ready to take that leap of faith. Maybe they're torn between you and somebody else. There, There's just different choices for different cases. I think you'll know which one it is. I think for the most part is, do I tell them or do I not tell them? Especially if you've been friends with this person for a long time, they don't want to risk losing you as a friend if things go bad. This person loves you in a sense. I think it's mostly friendly if you are friends. However, if this is like you two are dating or this is your current partner, there's some choice that they're making as far as maybe asking, thinking about asking to take things to the next level with you or some move, some big move, whatever it is, they're debating it in their head. They're really taking their time to ponder things out. They're looking at all the different outcomes that could happen and they're too much in their head at times. We have listening. Maybe they think that you're a great listener. Or maybe they're waiting to see if you feel the same way about them. Again, it just depends on the situation. But I feel this person has been quiet. For some of you, they've been quiet. But they've been keeping a close eye on you at the same time. And then for some of you, you guys are just really close friends, best friends, or just friends. <laughs> and maybe this is your crush. Or you're dating. Whatever it is, there's a choice that they're pondering. They think that you are very beautiful. You have this natural way about you that you don't even have to try, you don't have to wear makeup or anything, and you're just beautiful all over the place. All over the place, what am I saying? 
but this choice, I think it corresponds to this Four of Pentacles. Do I let this person in? Do I let my walls down? Do I tell them how I feel or not? Let's keep going. Venice Mallow, delicate fleeting beauty. When life is not coming up roses, look to the weeds and find the beauty hidden within them. I love young. So maybe this person feels this connection is bittersweet. This delicate fleeting beauty is giving me that grace message that I was just talking about. You have this natural way about yourself. You don't have to try hard. You're just naturally beautiful. There's some challenges maybe you two faced in this connection, but there's also beautiful aspects as well. So it kind of balances each other out. We have false indigo, immersion, and intuition. When you reach the end of what you should know, you will be at the beginning of what you should sense. Khalil Gibran. Immersion. This person wants to be in your energy, be in your company. I think this person wants to take things to the next level with you. They're just afraid. Intuitively, they believe that you feel the same way as they do, but there's still that, that fear here. They're secretly feeling like, oh, I want to take things to the next level, whether that be from dating for long term to engagement or friendship to dating. Just depends. Amorellis, determination, and creative achievement. You can't use up creativity. The more you use, the more you have. Maya Angelou. I think they're gonna do they're gonna maybe do something creative to show you how they feel about you. They're determined to fight these fears or whatever it is that is keeping them held back. Maybe it's just as simple as them having anxiety and they're too much in their head. But again, maybe they've been hurt by love before and so there's like that baggage there with that bittersweet energy that I was picking up before. But they're determined, okay? They're determined to win you somehow, some way, okay? Because there are feelings here that have yet to be fully expressed. And maybe they'll do this through creative measures like a song or a poem, something like that. Who knows? Ooh, we have the elk. We have the dolphin. And we have the fire ant. So that's giving me more bittersweet energy. This is the sweet, and then this is the bitter. So at times it can sting, or at times you don't see eye to eye, and there's miscommunication. But they find, they feel that there is something beautiful here worth exploring. This elk is giving me that determination, that fighting for something grounded, not going anywhere, loyalty. So, they're stuck on you in a good way. They have a lot of fun with you, with the dolphin. This gives me more intuition vibes for some reason. But it's kind of as if this person is assured that there's something here. They just don't know how to go about it right now. They're trying to figure that out. They're, they're maybe trying to listen to their guides to tell them what to do or how to go about it. Sometimes maybe you two say words in the heat of the moment when you argue. There could be some words said at times that it's a little bit hurtful. Okay. Chances are I'll see you in my dreams tonight. So this person could be having a lot of dreams of you. They're thinking about you all the time the next, like in the morning when they wake up. I'm weak, it's true. I'm afraid to know the answer. Do you want me to? Because my heart is falling faster. That four of pinnacles. Keeping, I love how 
Oh, this happened for pile one. I love how cards just synchronize together like that. I love you because you're you. I love you for the simple fact that you are just who you are. I'm feeling confused about the situation again, so they're taking their time to make some type of choice here. I have healed, transformed, I am ready, so maybe something is going to happen soon. Would you wait for me? And I need time to think. Mm -hmm. But it says, I'm ready. So maybe they're about to be ready. They, they think they're about to. They're pumping themselves up. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Okay. You make all of my dreams come true. I'm afraid of commitment. Okay, there. That could be the case for some of you. I cannot hide my smiles even when we are apart. So they think of you and they smile. I don't feel financially stable enough to commit to this connection right now. So maybe they're trying to work on their finances. That could be another thing. Pinnacles are about finances. That could be what they're trying to work on. Now let's go here. This could be talking about advice or just messages from like angels or anything like that. We have summer, bask in joy and light. We have sun, enjoy success and happiness. And water guardian, connect with your emotions. So I believe this person is getting more in tune with their emotions or they're healing their emotions maybe this person doesn't like to be in their emotions i wasn't picking that up earlier i don't think that's the case maybe this is talking about someone wanting to open up to you more and express emotions to you and you both connecting on an emotional level and having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation I do see that there's some happiness in this connection, regardless if you're friends or more. There's some type of happiness here. You two bring out like the best of one another. Seeing a lot of laughter. Because we have joy mentioned twice, happiness and joy. So, Regardless if things move ahead quickly or rather slowly, you two are going to remain in this happy, joyous um, connection. So like if you two are going to be friends for a while before this person is ready for commitment, it's okay because you still will enjoy one another's company. You'll just be present and it'll be casual. Or it could be this person's going to get to that point when they're ready for more and then happiness. Whatever happens, I think you two are going to be a part of your each other's lives because there's a lot of there's a lot of love here and there's a lot of happiness within the connection as a whole. I was even getting happiness from this dolphin card right here. The colors made it it look really happy. So this person feels. Their emotions are all over the place. Their thoughts are all over the place. They're trying to get themselves together. But they secretly have a lot of love for you deep down, whether they've expressed this or not. I'm getting they haven't for a lot of you. But anyway, that is your message, Pile 2. Thank you so much for joining me. Please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And be on the lookout for my future videos. Until next time, bye. Last but not least, hi there, Pile 3. Welcome in. You would like to know how your person of interest, whoever they are, you would like to know how they are secretly feeling for you. At the very end, I will have a song that you can look up for additional messages. Let's start off with this one tarot card. This is going to explain... The overall energy of how they are feeling for you and maybe more messages and then we'll get into the oracle cards Ooh, wow all three piles had pinnacle cards in them that's interesting 
so we have here the five of pentacles somebody is missing you very deeply they're missing you they're feeling as if they're lost without you or they're void and empty without you they're not the same maybe they feel as if you rejected them you kicked them out or maybe they ran away but there is this vibe of someone missing you very deeply and feeling as if you're moving on from them so there's that vibe with the five of pentacles missing you yearning for you feeling kind of lost without you we have transition we have new beginnings this gives me like the fool from the tarot and we have guardian angel wow so maybe they feel that you're you are like a guardian angel to them i could definitely sense that this person feels as if you're an angelic being you're an angel you lit up their world maybe they were going through some dark periods that could also be what this is saying someone who is struggling emotionally mentally there's some type of health issue they feel as if they're in a dark place or they were in a dark place when you two met and you kind of brightened up their world with the guardian angel card coming out so it's almost like your light at the end of the tunnel someone who brightens up their whole world that's beautiful we have transition so maybe there's this stuck energy that you guys are in right now and this person wants to move it from being stuck and progress things to a new beginning have a new start maybe go i'm getting like a second chance so maybe there is separation here i'm getting that for a lot of you they want to have a new beginning with you a fresh start a do-over see where things could go they're wondering if you would accept their offer, if that makes sense. I'm getting that there's some disappointment here in this pile. Not anything major, though it could be, but just some disappointment. Like, things didn't pan out the way you like them to. There could have been outside influences, or it could have just been life in general, or it could have been because of emotional pain or past trauma there's there's like an obstruction is what i'm getting in this pile there's something that is pre preventing the both of you from just accelerating ahead and moving forward and this person wants to somehow move that stuck energy and progress things along they're wanting this very badly because they feel void without you they are missing you deeply and they need that shining light in their life which you are that shining light to them. So they're trying to figure out life on their own. They're trying to figure out what their purpose is, what their calling is. They're trying to get on the right path. But, but this person, and I think it could be their own energy, they feel stuck in some type of... Mm. pain sadness or trauma some unhealed wounds that have that need to be healed that won't resonate for all of you but for all of you this person wants a second chance a new chance they want to have this new beginning with you a do, like just a do-over i keep hearing a do-over and if you are dating this person right now or you, and you're in a relationship right now or you're in a friendship with them right now maybe there's this sense of excitement this person wants to do something with you travel with you do something fun try new things it could be that sense of just being spontaneous and trying new things tuberose dangerous pleasure 
The secret of reaping the greatest fruitfulness and the greatest enjoyment from life is to live dangerously. Frederick, and I can't say the last name. This reminds me of Pile 1 a little bit with the bat. Anyway, so maybe you guys are natural rebels together at times, or maybe this connection feels dangerous, or it's a risk. It's risky. There's a lot of uh, temptation, maybe. A lot of passion between the two of you. That's how they feel. We have the daffodil, which says rebirth and new beginnings. New beginnings are often disguised as painful endings. Lao Tzu, again. I love when cards do that. New beginnings, rebirth, and new beginnings. So definitely this person wants to, to have a revamp. Or kind of like the death card or phoenix, they, something ended and they want to have a do-over. Like a, I keep saying these same stuff, but this is what really what's coming through from this person to you guys. This person wanting to, to try again and see if things could work out. Not wanting to give up on this connection, even though things were disappointing or... Things didn't work out the way that you both wanted or anticipated. We have victory. Oh, Nastratium. It's a very pretty flower. Victory and conquest. Maybe they're trying to conquer you. Okay, dangerously. There's some passion here. Some A lot of chemistry and charisma. Anyway, it says, He who controls others may be powerful, but he who has mastered himself is mightier still. Lao Tzu. So there's this sense of wanting to be victorious in the connection, have it be successful, have you to be public and work on things and have it all work out greatly. This person could be a little bit possessive, maybe, at times. I'm sensing a little bit of devil energy, like devil from the tarot cards. So, anyway, it's almost like this person wanting to conquer you or have you as their own. But I'm not getting a negative or toxic energy vibe from this person, from the collective. But there's this sense of, you're mine. I want you to know this. You're mine, okay? You're not, you're not his. You're not hers. You are literally mine. And oh my gosh, this spider card says the same thing. I am going to entrap you in my web because you are mine. You are mine, okay? And we got tarantula. That's interesting, two spiders, okay. We have cheetah and we have gazelle. So you could be the gazelle and this person could be the cheetah and they China anyway. Something is happening very quickly for this pile. Uh, the other two piles were kind of slow, but this one is fast. And of course, yeah, I could say it's because of the cheetah. But I do believe something is going to happen rather quickly, meaning this person is going to probably reach out to you soon or try to mend things and make things right, ask you out for a coffee, apologize if they need to apologize for something that they did in the past. So I'm definitely getting... That this person is going to reach out to you very soon or this person is going to try to revamp things in this connection with you very soon. Like very soon, guys. Uh, you gotta let me know if this happens and put it in the comments because this is happening very soon. I'm not getting a date or a time frame, but I know it's really quickly. It could be literally days or just a couple weeks or less. Something is about to shift. In this connection, this person's going to take the leap of faith. Because I got two new beginning cards here. So I do believe this person is going to try and 
win you, if you will, <laughs> try to woo you. You're a whisper of a summer breeze, the kiss that puts my soul at ease. So what I'm saying is I'm into you. I'm so into you, I can hardly breathe. Okay, that's not your song, but anyway. I live like I don't miss you, but who am I fooling? It's amazing how you knock me off my feet. When you're around me, I get weak. Nobody's ever made me feel this way. In case you didn't know, I'm crazy about you. I'd be lying if I said I could live without you. That is literally what this card says to me. Guys, I'm gonna be dramatic. Look at this card, look at it, and I'm gonna read this again. In case you didn't know, I'm crazy about you. I'd be lying if I said I could live without you. That's kind of the embodiment of the Five of Pentacles. I'm void without you, I'm lost without you. I'm in darkness without you, whatever the case is. Colors are dull without you. I want to have a family with you, so whoa, okay. I want you to be direct with me. I have moved on. That's kind of weird that that came up. You can be honest, you are safe. My love shows you the way. I feel that this is what they want. They wanted you to think at one point in time, but I do not believe this one bit. No, this is kind of maybe some pride. Again, that devil energy, that could be what that is. You are the best thing that has happened to me. Five of Pentacles. I don't know why the Five of Pentacles is giving, giving me that. I'm in love with the way you smile and how you look right before you laugh. That smile of yours drives me crazy. So this person really loves it when you smile. Kind of lights, lights them up. You are my eternal love. Alrighty then. Last but not least, we're going to get to the angels and ancestors. This could be advice or just more things about how they're feeling. We have the warrior, be fearless and stand strong. So maybe it was about courage or a lack of courage to tell you how they feel about you. And so they're they're finding that warrior within themselves. It's a work in progress. Oh it's a work in progress, okay? So they're trying to find that warrior. They're, they're still fighting for this connection. This, this card is kind of screaming to me. I have not given up on this. I have not given up on you. I have not given up on this connection. I will continue to fight through whatever and go through whatever I have to, triggers or whatever, to ha make this work. Okay? Even if it's me in my own head, like, I will keep fighting. We have the high priest that says intend and create. So this is giving me the male version of the high priestess. So the, if it's a male, even if it's not, but it's masculine energy. If you're masculine here, it's kind of like this person feels very in tune with their gifts or their intuition. And there's this intention they're trying to set. They're trying to manifest this connection to come into being. They're trying to maybe express themselves create, creatively. But there's this sense of like a magician in the tarot, someone who's trying to manifest and create something, conquer those fears, intuitively believing that there's something here. And we have the shield maiden, make plans and focus. So. Oh my gosh, I'm hearing this song, but that's not even one of the songs I wrote down. I'm hearing, what's it called, darn it? There's a question on my love, you got... Oh, Matrimony, oh my gosh. Look up the song Matrimony by Whale, okay? Because that's what this card just gave me. Anyway... Shield Maiden, make plans and focus. This person might be making some plans here. This is the fastest energy pile of the three, okay? 
this cheetah here is screaming to me intuitively. So I believe something's about to kick off, okay? Something is literally about to kick off for you. So if you're in this pile, just know something is about to kick off. And I'm very happy and excited for you guys. You have to let me know. Keep me updated in the comments. So your song is Moving Mountains by Usher. So if you want additional messages, look up the lyrics, put like watch a lyric video of Moving Mountains by Usher. And that is all pile three. I'm happy for you. This person misses you. They're about to do something. They're planning on doing something. They're going to take some leap of faith try to conquer you okay because they're like you is mine all right anyway if you like my video if you've watched my other videos and you haven't subscribed feel free to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you're updated of my future content be on the lookout for my future content and i will see you beautiful people next time bye